Good morning, everybody. It's pretty foggy today, huh? Good thing we went fishing yesterday. Wouldn't be very good for fishing today now, would it? Morning, ladies. Ladies? Good morning, Arthur. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. <laughs> okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. Yes. See you later. She's not threatened by it at all. Hello, ladies. Hello. Morning. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then, Arthur. All right. Lenny? Whoa. What time is it now? <laughs> Karen! Karen's still sleeping at 7 a.m. About time to wake up, my friend? Lenny has been sitting here for a while now. You okay, Arthur? You wanna talk? Oh. Sure. Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kinda crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been getting real violent for no good reason. Hurting people just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. It's the people we hang with. At the core, Arthur is probably not a bad person. In another life, maybe he would be a very lawful citizen. But not in this one. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently oh. it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Are we that in need of weapons? Oh, well, it's always good to get more. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Sounds like an international business. Cuba and wherever else. Yeah. When was the last time we spent time with Lenny? I don't even remember. Girl. Come on. It's this way. On me. Ja. Stay put, everybody. Hey, Jack. You okay? Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Morning. Stay close to your mom. Yeah. You know... I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Oh, Mrs. Adler. Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. 
Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Oh, hell no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Don't even talk about other people. You even sometimes hear people in our own gang making comments about Charles or Lenny being black or whatever. It's... it's back in the day. The Civil War though. They mentioned the Civil War earlier. That's probably what that battlefield we were at previously was, right? 30 years ago. That's when Arthur was a wee kid. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house, down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. Hold up. We're actually back at this place again. Shady Bell, we've already been here. We've already been here, haven't we? Uh, was that the other gang house I fought before? I feel like it was, because I remember Shady Bell. I remember this name. We'll just have to see. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Well, I got that cleared. <laughs> are they gonna come back? That would kind of suck. A waste of efforts. Look at this feel. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Oh, I don't see anybody here. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. You seen something, Alpha? Hear that? Someone's on the track. Oh, did you want me to... Okay. Okay, girl. Alright, you know what? We gotta get ready here. Yeah, carbine? Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. Yeah, we won't lag behind too much. We gotta make sure we can see where they're going. And we're not seeing that right now because we are lagging behind. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. I might know this place. Old boys here are real tough. Hey. Just wondering if we can use binoculars while we're riding here. Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Yeah, we've been Good here. To me. <laughs> Very unfortunately, everybody's back. They've regrouped. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just wipe them all out again. Get down and come on. 
Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You want to do it from afar? Like with a rifle? I guess that would be good. Will you see anything? No. Yes. Yes. Well, they're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. We gotta make sure Lenny doesn't get killed. You gonna make a call? Oh, sorry. Uh, there's no reason for you to go out there and risk yourself. Let's just shoot the dynamite. We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? I will. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> hey, you all being right? Oh, Lenny, don't stand right in front of me. I'm gonna accidentally shoot you. You doing okay? I think we should move up a little bit, huh? Whoa! Don't get my boy Lenny. You wanna push up a little bit? Something about burning my corpse? Hold up. I'm making a move. Yeah. Arthur, up there on the veranda. He's going for the Gatlin. Whoa. He's firing. Tell that gun to shoot. Hi, behind here. Keep your head oh, what the hell? Whoa! I'm getting shot at! Hold on, hold on. That guy caught me off guard completely. What is going on here? Need some moonshine. And a little bit of core, too. I'm too scared to come out here, man. Frankly, I don't know how I'm still alive. We probably need something a little stronger for the core here. No, just, just a little bit? It's probably gonna fail me for the, for the one achievement where it's like, Oh, don't take any food items. I don't know about that. Quick! Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? Let's hurry up then. Look at how many dead people are here. Oh, such a waste. Can we loot all of them? We don't have time to loot everybody. Not yet. This ain't worth taking. Here? Or uh, from the back. I think the water's got to this stuff. There's not this much here. Good. Search it. This one looks good. Uh. 
search him. There's nothing here. Are you kidding me? What about this one? What? You've got to be joking me. I think we should search the crates, Arthur. I can't get to the one in the back because of the lockbox in the front. Hey, which one do you want me to search? Here. Come on. I'm stuck. <laughs> this is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. We taking this whole thing then? Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. ASAP. Yep. I bet we'll get shot at along the way, so let's go. I think we killed 20, 30 go, people go. here? Let's go. Come on. G up. Fall in. Rossi. Follow us. Really trying fast here. Riders, coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey, stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. What do you want me to say? You look just the opposite. The goddamn pair of you. Oh! Oh, let's go! Okay. Yep. Yeah. You shoot? All right. Was there another option there that I took too long to activate? <laughs> there was a little bit of a lull oh, in the conversation. Oh. Whoa! That's right, we have a whole cart full of dynamite, so we gotta get rid of those guys before we move on. Cause otherwise, the back of the wagon is exposed to them. Hey, riders, coming our way. Okay, keep a cool head. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! All right. Maybe if we antagonize them, it would work out better, huh? Because remember previously? I think we were looking for Flacco Hernandez. Then I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. That's nice. I was gonna say, though, um, previously, when we went to get Flacco Hernandez, antagonizing his gang actually helped out the situation, and they didn't attack us. So maybe that was what we should have done there to avoid a confrontation. But those people... It looks pretty fishy when we have Lenny with us, because they don't like black people. Lenny's pretty young, too, isn't he? Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. What's the house in the back? A big J.
Arthur, Lenny, coming back. With stuff. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. <laughs> Not today. Didn't fight very well today, did I? That's a nice rifle. Bolt action rifle. Oh. The BD and Co. Bolt Action is a strong and versatile rifle built to perform in any environment. The bolt action mechanism allows for quick firing and reloading, making this rifle an ideal choice for long range combat with multiple targets. This gun has an ammo capacity of 5 rounds and can use regular, high velocity. Oh, yeah, we haven't really tried using different types of ammo yet, have we? Hmm. Okay. If we could compare these easily, that would be nice, but I don't think we can. Yeah, because I want to see the differences. Oh, I guess if we want to see that, we can just go to the weapon wheel. But not here, right? Are we allowed to look at the weapon wheel here? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Arthur. Yes? Yes, Tilly? I guess Tilly just wanted to say hi. Oh. Oh, I finally got the screen opening again. Oh. Oh yeah, Dutch asked for a pipe, Hosea asked for novels, Mary Beth asked for a fountain pen, Jack has asked for a book, Kieran asked for some burdock root, Sadie asked for harmonica, and we're not getting any of these, are we? <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay. Uh, as I was saying though, I did want to check out the rifle, but we can't look at the weapon wheel here because we're in camp right now. We should probably eat a little bit because my core is really, really low right now. Karen lacks a man in uniform. Does somebody want to play cards? <laughs> Arthur. Hey. Oh, dominoes. Okay. How are you? Live. New. Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, <laughs> well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. No, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. <laughs> I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. I don't remember how to play, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you too. A necklace? Hi there, Lenny. We never had an official game of dominoes, because last time I played with Abigail and she walked out on me. <laughs> Arthur has the highest double or tile and goes first. Okay, cool. Didn't get to finish reading that. <laughs> um Yes. I can choose a tile to start with, right? Oh, this one's a blank. What does that mean? I want to just put a... whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it's the one where you gotta make sure the edges match, right? So we're looking for a three or a four or a two right now. We have two threes right here. I'm not sure what kind of strategy you would need for this, though. The spinner tile has been placed. Tiles can now be played off the ends of the spinner. Oh, I didn't score points for that. When two of them have the same number, is that a spinner tile? Oh, this tile has no available moves. Oh, can we only extend horizontally or... God, I got no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Should I be calling you Deputy Morgan now, Arthur? You're telling me. If you want. If you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> Hey, she keeps scoring points and I'm scoring like nothing. 
I should have read the rules, right? <laughs> Probably. I thought they would teach me, like in the, um, the other card games. They would give you a small help section. But I guess they don't want to do that. Why is she getting all the points and I'm getting nothing? Edge score. Edge score is five. Well, I mean, I don't really play this for the, the winning anyway. <laughs> Here, it ain't worth much. Nothing on this one. But I did enjoy getting to talk to Tilly a little bit. Apparently, Miss Grimshaw is driving her up the wall. Domino. Good for you, really. Yes. Oh. Oh, I Sorry, won. Ain't worth much. Oh. Well, I guess we'll play one more. If the Pinkertons could see you now, killer, bank robber, Domino's player. You gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then. Ah, because the point of the game is to get rid of all the dominoes. But the bonus points, that's what Tilly was getting. Okay. Sure. As long as I can get rid of all my cards, that's fine, right? All my tiles. She seems to be the one making all the edge moves, though. Look at that! What am I doing that's so different from what she's doing? <laughs> Tiles can now be placed off the ends of the spinner. Sure. There. Now what a get. Ooh. Nothing here. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> This ain't worth nothing. If we look at the help section, it'll probably tell me which one's worth what. Ah! See, I draw because I don't have any available moves with the one I have left. And the goal is to get rid of all your cards, your tiles. Oh, alright. Uh oh. Perfect, there we go. Uh, which way would we want to extend this? I don't know, man. We're all drawing tiles. It's not going as well as the first time anymore. She's drawing. I'm drawing. There, you can play that. Can I play my last tile, please? Woo! We're both on our last tile here, but we can't play it. Can I not play the other one? Uh, all right. There, but nothing. Great. Here. What is this gonna? Oh, here we go. Right. All done. Oh, damn you. Domino. Shoot. Here. So today, we learned that Dominoes is a game that you can win even though you don't understand the rules. <laughs> Alright, thanks for playing with me, Tilly. Hey there, Tilly. I'm gonna get some practice in before playing you at Dominoes again. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. All you do is complain about Pearson's cooking. Just be glad there's food on the table. Hey! Who robbed the people to put the food on the table? Us. Sean bragging again. Oh, who wants to go fishing? Who wants to go fishing? Is that a J? Oh, that's probably the clipping with, um... The place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. <laughs> Is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after... 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. And how are you? If you say so. 
Go freaking turn the bonds into money! Keep talking about gold and money, we're not seeing any of it. Yeah, this is uh, Sean's ancestor. Sean's dad? Oh, it's nighttime now. Whoever wanted me to fish with them does not want to fish with me anymore. That is fine. Oh, why is Tilly highlighted? Is it because I have the necklace that she's looking for? It might be. Hold on, let me give it to you. Okay, sweetheart. Yeah? I found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. Everything changes. You're welcome. I grew up wanting to hunt whales. My father and his father both hunted sperm whales. Everyone's fathers did where I grew up. And we lit the world with that oil. We lit the world and all oh, we lived like princes. With our moms wearing new dresses. And our dads out to sea for years at a time. Rich and lonely, but desperate to be out there. And then, as I'm finishing school and getting ready to ship out to sea myself, everything ends. Nobody wants whale oil no more. Everybody's running out west for gold and land and oil and freedom. So I spend a couple of years at sea, but it's not what I imagined. Without the hunt, it's not really anything. I don't want to simply carry things across the sea. I want to pull things from it. So I, too, go west. And soon, I fall into some terrible trouble with some really bad men I meet. They force me to marry a woman so they can steal all my money. But then Dutch finds me, very much at my wit's end. And you boys know the rest of that story. Now, I'm a ship's cook for a camp with no ship. <laughs> with no ship. <laughs> But I miss the sea. I do. It calms you somehow. <sighs> wow, Pearson has quite the backstory. I didn't know you were out at the seas previously, getting whale oil and whatnot. I don't think we've read this letter before. Letter to Lenny from Father, January 12th, 1894. My dear Leonard, it is only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully until my train. <laughs> was out of sight, and already I feel compelled to write. How handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity young, and learn it well. There are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to set down than to speak, even to a son. I expect this is not easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. Here is one such truth. I know that I have sometimes been more tutor than father to you. But do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you more as pupil than son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have stiffened once more. But this brief distance gives me liberty to tell you that you have redeemed more than you know, or can ever know, or should ever be expected to bear. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn to accommodate yourself to all useful labor, however menial. And as always, read this letter aloud to your mother. And where I have written is not, do not say ain't. I am as ever, your loving father. Oh, so his dad was grooming him to be a lawyer. I'm guessing his mom doesn't know how to read. So he's telling his son to read it out loud for her. How do you end up with us? Wow, that's... that's a little bit unexpected. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Pearson? Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, 
I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Hmm. Who's strumming their guitar? Are you strumming your imaginary guitar? You play well. <laughs> for some reason we can't see it. B. Who's looking for us? A B. Bill. Bill needs to speak with me. Do we want to rest again? Wait for the morning? Yeah, start the day afresh. Let's get back to our tent and we'll speak to Bill tomorrow. Whoever wants to go fishing with me can wait. <laughs> we just went fishing pretty recently. Somebody want to play Five Finger Filet? Hey, Dutch. Arthur! Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps. Stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. Fine. What have you been doing? Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. I don't really remember seeing Dutch do anything <laughs> before. Not, really. Not everybody. Full eight hours of sleep today. Dang. Morning, everybody. Oh, uh, we can shave, but we can't cut our hair by ourselves, can we? Pomade hair? <laughs> okay, I guess we're looking like this today. Oh, that was like a one-click option. I didn't even get to think about it that much, and I just clicked on it. <laughs> oh, I can trim my... No, no. The sides? I mean... Oh, kind of reminds me of Dutch a little bit. <sighs> Maybe. No, you know what? It's uh, it's okay. I'll just wait till I get to an actual barber. How about that? We gotta get back to road sometime soon. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place. That's for sure. Keep your nose clean. Oh, Driscoll. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, then. All right. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. Is the stew ready this morning? Good morning. Check again afternoon. It's quite a while. Ladies. Morning, Arthur. Hi there. You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. <laughs> okay. Just checking you're all right. Okay, then. Sounds good to me. Can I donate anything to Pearson? Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Donate all? Do you want some animal fat? Many thanks. Wolf heart. Donate for provisions or donate for camp funds. Uh Charles. Can't have that pot go completely Tilly. empty. Yeah. Have some meat for your pot. Have some of my fish. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Yeah, satchel. Satchel, we can't get any of this because we haven't really hunted for the specific things they want me to hunt. I don't know which of my satchels is like the most bloated one though, so which ones do I want to get? Valuables maybe? Deer, beaver, rabbit? Okay, well, if we come across rabbits or deers, we'll... We'll try to get them. Hmm. I don't really care about my lodging that much. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Yeah. I'll be back. Alright, Bill, what you got for me? We can't kill these chickens, can we? 
That wouldn't be good. They're our own chickens. I need a word with you, Morgan. But I want to talk to Lenny. Or Karen. What are you doing here, Karen? What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe. But you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense. And I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Can you shoot? think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. I'm so distracted by my long hair. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor? Thomas Downs? Apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's Bill's ideas, okay? Okay, let's move out. Can Karen shoot? Well, you know, maybe after all this is done, we can go visit the barber in the same town. <laughs> you think they'll still welcome me? I really need to get a haircut. Oh my goodness. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like a lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? Whoa. What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well... Just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. <laughs> what little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. Bad memories and coming before back. Before you say it, I know. 
takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, it's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Jose, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. It's a good point Arthur makes. We're really high profile. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. Okay, if you do it well this time, I'm never going to say anything about you being lazy again. Another bank, Miss Jones. Been a while. Hey, Arthur. Remember that bank in Tucson? All them years ago? You, me, and Javier? <laughs> of course, how can I forget? <laughs> the nun. Thou shalt not steal a habit from the local convent. Whose idea was that? I forget. I just know the guards were searching everyone on the way in for guns. Except for sweet sister Karen. Two shotguns and a pistol you had under your skirt. <laughs> I'm surprised you could even walk. That'll have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. We didn't get to talk to Lenny at all. That was nice. We got to pick who to talk to, but Lenny was behind me the whole time, so I didn't get to choose him. Hey, did John ever get the sheep money? I feel like I never saw a cent of that. Or did I completely forget about it? <laughs> I have my rifle. I should have gone a haircut. And maybe they won't recognize me because my hair is so long. <laughs> we'll have to see. We've only set foot into that bank one time. Hello. At night. So I don't even know how this is going to work out. Everyone in here is so wonderful. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Have for good luck. Hello, boy. You okay, boy? No, I gotta get a good luck pat, okay? It's a good omen. Being blessed by a dog before we rob a bank. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go to work. Of course. Guess we're getting a bounty again today. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. So, we never decided. 
Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Which one do you do better? The harlot. <laughs> uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. <laughs> You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. I really think you should leave, madam. I'm not leaving till I okay, find Okay, we're going to... No, to your hold sex, on. Madam. Wait till you she's got him real dead. Don't like you don't know me. I'm stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Just between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, no. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Don't hurt us! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Don't Here. move. Unlock the door. Do I just keep pointing a gun at them? Okay, the door's unlocked. Okay, they're pointing it. I can do whatever. Oh, you think we're here? No. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Open the goddamn vault. Oh. Oh. Open it. Oh. Oh. Just open the goddamn door. Too slowly! You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Come on. Wow, we've never been inside the bank. If I beat him, it's gonna take longer. Oh, come on. Too goddamn uh. slow! Uh. Uh. Dude, please. Do you normally take this long when a customer wants money? Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! You're stalling on purpose. Come on! Okay. This guy's totally stalling. Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! You really want me to shoot your brains out? Lord. Get out. Or get in. Get in, actually. <laughs> I'm in. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I. Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Cracking would be better because blowing up yeah, is noisy. Yeah, I, I should be able to crack these. All right, but you <gasps> better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. As you rotate, it will slow down. There's a vibration on the controller. Okay. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. We just wait for the clicking sound pretty much. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. <sighs> Frick. Not much. This is taking too long. It's one say. Come on, make it quick. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Holy right, God. I'm going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quieter. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Am I going too fast? Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. We're not gonna be able to get all the saves. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. Someone's gonna walk in the bank. We won't be able to open all of them. I'll keep a look out at the door. But even just one of them has thousands of dollars inside. How 
How's it looking there? The one on the Good. wall? Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. How much time do we have? Oh, this one? This one's different. It looks smaller. I feel like there's gonna be less inside. Alright, hurry up. Getting a better hang of this cracking now by the third time. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Go big or go home, right? The ones on the side might be easier. To crack. I'm pressing so hard right now, my thumb hurts so much. <laughs> okay. Blowing up might be faster. Yeah, we could just grab all of it and go, right? Last one. Good. We gotta move. Oh my god. This is a lot of money. Can we actually make it out like this? This is so much money. I haven't ever seen this much money in my life before. Does Arthur just know how to crack a safe, or <laughs> is it that easy? Seems like the security is a little bit lacking here, isn't it? Any bonds? Leviticus Cornwall bonds? <laughs> Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. There are dead people here. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? This can't be real. And look, look, over there! Oh, why were we walking so slow, man? We could have just gone out of there. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Well, we're never coming back to Valentine. Let's get the hell out of this goddamn town. Forget the barber. <laughs> Forget Mickey too. We're never seeing him again. Are we walking towards the police right now? It's getting redder and redder over there. No, we're fine, we're fine. God damn it, there's more! Whoa! I am not attacking them. Where do you guys want to go? Oh crap, like, do we have to stay together? Oh no! Okay, this might be bad. I've separated from Karen and the other people. If it's not gonna require me to stay next to them, we can do this. Kinda pointless now, but do we wanna... Oh, we do have a banana on. Okay. Look out. You ain't seen tomorrow, buddy. Oh, that's a lot of people! I think we gotta hit some of them. They're getting us. They don't seem to know it's me though. Look out! More of the sons of bitches. It just says dead or alive, it doesn't say Arthur Morgan. You see any more of them? Oh 
Here we go. Oh, that guy's being dragged. We got more coming in. Come on, get across. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed! <sighs> okay. Yep, this is Downs. Did all that with a deputy sheriff badge. Oh, that was pretty good. What about our... Did we even get a bounty for that? Yeah, 60... Oh, 60 dollar bounty for stealing, like, $6,000? <laughs> really? Seems a bit disproportionate, but all right. I'm not one to complain. Yeah. I don't see my share, though. Can we see the full amount of money we got from that? Because that was a lot. That was definitely five digits, right? 